What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Ori, and welcome back to AM Out of Vibe. In case you're wondering, what the hell Ori is screaming all this Auga sound for, right? I am screaming Auga sound for the iPhone. What is my iPhone 12 Pro? We're gonna be doing a reaction video to the uh, to the drop test they have um, on here. So we're gonna be checking that out, man. I'm just so excited for it. Y'all know me. I'm an Apple guy. That's me. I rock Apple. That's it. But we're just gonna get into the video. Enough talking all that good stuff. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. If you guys wanna see more reaction video. Sorry for the noise in the background, but let's get into the video. Phone 12 Pro oh, and its ceramic shield covered front screen. Oh, this one is sorry. You might have noticed that the box is a little bit smaller this year. That's a pretty you know, box. Apple has slowly been removing things with each new product launch. Every First was the day. headphone jack, then the HDMI on their laptops, and now it's the charging brick itself that's gone. Everything. It's always exciting to find out what's going to disappear next. Ha <laughs> ha! Apple definitely Be keeps on your toes. Honestly though, it's probably a good thing. Their 5 watt inbox charger was the slowest charger of any phone anywhere. And now there's no reason not to upgrade to the faster charging Anchor Nano, which costs less while still charging three times faster, Apple. all while still keeping the same size as the old brick. Thanks to Anchor for sponsoring this video, now iPhone users will get to experience the fast charging that Androids have had for years. I'll leave a link down in the video description. Okay, bro, 10 we understand. Off the Anchor Gosh. Because you know if Apple isn't going to hook you up, Anchor for sure will. Do the job. Now it's time for the durability test. Let's get. Hey! Too ready for this crap. Come on. Darn it. Personally, I think it's a bit sus that Apple got rid of the free inbox charger at the exact same time they came out with the new type of magnetic charger, which conveniently cost $40, by the way. I'm sure it's all this just a coincidence. This nigga. No, what's up? I've been talking, I've been telling people this, right? I like Apple, but trust me, I still complain. This iPhone 12 is a whole scam. Don't think I'm getting it. Oh, hell no. I, I, listen, y'all wanna see my phone? This is my phone. This is my iPhone um, XR, iPhone XR. Get my little screen protected, but I still love my baby. Just like how the headphone jack disappeared at the same time the wireless AirPods came out. You know, totally normal behavior. Uh, you can see that inside the magnetic circular attachment is a group of coiled wires that transfer power to the other set of coiled wires inside of the phone. We'll have to see what those look like for realsies when we open them up for the teardown video. But while we're here on the outside, we can see where the magnets are located with some metal shavings. The magnets form a perfect circle around the outside of the copper coils. Thumbs up for oh, that. Wow. I think it's kind of cool even if you aren't able to keep your credit card and phone in the same pocket anymore. It's probably a good idea in general, though, to keep metal shavings away from your phone. If you remember, the earpiece and loudspeaker are also both made with magnets, so if any small shavings get sucked up inside of the phone, it can tear the speakers to shreds. Wow. I'm sure the IP68 waterproofing will help keep the dust and shavings out, but still, it's better safe than sorry. Why would you do it that way, bro? You should do it to the side. You just talk Speaking about of being safe rather than sorry, Apple has stepped up their phone design quite a bit this year with a lot of focus on the screen. Apple says their new ceramic shield is a step beyond glass, but it's also important to listen closely to their carefully structured buzzword filled sentences. Apple said they've included nano ceramic crystals within the glass matrix to dramatically improve toughness, and yeah, they might have found a new way of forming glass to make it tougher, but those new crystals are still within a glass matrix which means it's still glass, no matter how many other words they add to the sentence. <laughs> and if glass is still glass, it's you know the right. Apple doesn't mention much about scratch resistance, just drop protection and toughness. They also use the phrase, along with our new design, it makes the iPhone tougher than ever. So it's not just the new glass. I think a large part of that four times more drop resistance comes from the design, with the glass totally flush sitting just inside the surface of the frame. 
A piece of glass has six sides. Front, back, and all four edges. And with five of those six sides protected by this phone frame, in a way that most smartphones are not built, it really does make this iPhone 12 Pro more shatter resistant. So I do believe Apple's claim about the glass being four times tougher, but I think the protective design has more to do with it than the buzzwords do. I've scratched hundreds and hundreds of phones in this exact same way, and Apple's ceramic shield is still scratching at a level six, with deeper grooves at a level seven. It might just be my imagination, but it does look like the level six scratches are a tad more faint, but they're definitely still there. Ceramic Shield is not the product that will bring us to the next level of Mohs hardness. One thing that can always be certain, though, is that as Apple removes things from the box, the high price will always remain the same. The only way to really keep your screen scratch-free and resale value high is with a screen protector. I've installed thousands of screen protectors from my pre-YouTube phone repair days, and it only takes a few seconds. The biggest obstacle is the dust underneath the glass. But there's an alcohol wipe and a dust sticker in the box to help mitigate that. The screen protector is held in place by a thin layer of nano adhesive, so there's no residue left on the glass when it's ever removed. And since the iPhone 12 Pro display is totally flat, the precision cut screen protector makes it look like it was meant to be there. Just like you wear safety glasses to protect your eyes and a mask to protect your lungs, a screen protector is a cheap way to avoid a lot of future regret. Oh, wow. I'll leave a link for D-Brand screen protectors down in the video description. How come? Plus, these aren't your normal plastic rubbery screen protectors either. It's an additional layer of protective tempered glass. And as we know, glass is glass, and glass can. Great. It's much easier to replace a $10 screen protector than it is to replace a $270 display. I'll leave that link in the description. Now, if I'm being totally honest, I do have to say that the iPhone 12 Pro is one of the cleanest looking and best feeling phones that I've held in a really long time. And the frame is surprisingly hard to scratch. The sides of the iPhone 12 Pro are made from stainless steel, and since my razor blade is also made from stainless steel, they're having a hard time damaging each other. The paint is obviously still going to scratch off. Most phones are usually made from softer aluminum. Aluminum's like a three or four on most scale. So this stainless steel at most Bro, five Bro, give me that phone, you over there scratching that shit up. It's just the paint that's not. The silver colored version of the iPhone is going to hide this kind of damage the best. There is no expandable memory, of course. There never was. The magnets on the back can be a handy SIM card removal tool holder. And then, of course, at the bottom, we still have our lightning port. Oh, that's what a SIM card is? I even forget what a SIM card is. Oh, I'm, I'm also a big fan of the textured glass back here. Oh, yeah, that's true. I have a you can hear the difference in the when it goes from the rough frosted texture to the smooth glass on the Apple logo. The textured glass has the ability to act like sandpaper to other objects, since glass is a very hard material. Softer objects, like this penny, will leave marks behind on the glass, but the marks aren't permanent. It's just dust caught on the rough surface, and can be rubbed away. The top camera bump is relatively reasonable this year, when compared to Samsung's monstrosities. The bottom lens is a 12 megapixel, 2 times optical zoom telephoto, then we have the 12 megapixel ultra-wide in the center, and the main 12 megapixel sensor up top. And each camera lens is again covered with its own sapphire crystal lens cover. It's still getting uh, like 6 mm. and 7, but you already know how Sorry if I'm biting yeah. your head. The screen of the iPhone 12 Pro is a 6.1-inch HDR display, meaning it's OLED, and has a slightly higher resolution than 1080p. A cool thing, though, is that even after 30 seconds from the heat of my lighter, the pixels on the OLED are still unfazed, with zero damage. Other phones start to turn white and not recover. Now, I'm no materials expert, but ceramic is a slower conductor of heat than glass is, meaning that the heat doesn't transfer through it as easy. So it is possible that Apple's new screen material is keeping the heat away from the pixels. This doesn't mean quite a whole lot as far as lighters go, but it does add a little validity to the new ceramic crystal material claim that Apple is making. Yeah, big the oleophobic coating is definitely evaporated though, so don't try the burn test on your own phone. What about the bend test? I mean, it's probably easy to guess, but with the more solid stainless steel frame and recessed glass on both sides keeping the box rigid, the iPhone 12 Pro is a non-flexing tank of a cell phone, and I'm impressed. 
No bends, kinks, or cracks of any kind in the frame. You remember the Apple six is was and bending. always has been premium and expensive, but at least lately the materials have started to match the price tag a bit better. I used my last phone for over three years, and I've only had my current phone for about a year, so I'm not ready to upgrade just yet. Maybe someday I'll try out the iPhone again, but I'll wait till next year's iPhone 13 Pro Max Ultra Plus 6G No Screen Edition before I make up my mind. I'll leave links in the description for that stuff Apple forgot Any to lie, include. Though. Apple, the Apple good for it. Let me know what you think of Apple's new phone down in the comments. You cool with them leaving out the charger? No! Come hang out with me on Instagram and Twitter. And thanks a ton for watching. Okay, yeah. No, nigga. Listen, Apple's such a scam, bro. I'm gonna say Apple's a scam before they try to sue me. Listen, Apple say that they took the charger out of the box, right? To make the earth green. Listen, listen, listen. Not even the funny part. But they still making the pods to sell to us. If that was the case, you say, okay, we're not putting it inside the box no more because we're trying to go green. Stop making the bricks on your website. Don't make them at all. Take them down. Because the same cost you gotta buy separate. Right? Right? From a third party, you gotta put it in another box, right? Don't you? Then you gotta sell it to us. That makes no sense. The little space the damn box used to take for holding a little brick. And you're gonna switch up what is you use USB-C! You bastards! I, I don't like you. But at the same time, you always take my money, though. I like Apple products so much. Um, there's a love-hate relationship with me and Apple, bro. I love y'all still, though. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe, comment down below if you guys want some more reaction videos from me. I'll try best to react more to different stuff. I try to be versatile, just trying to figure out what you guys like to watch. Really, truly. That's why I'm all over the place. So if you guys let me know, I'll be able to do it better. You know? Good content, but hope you guys enjoy this video, all of your stuff. Remember to be happy, be blessed, and remember, the world is yours. Peace.